Hey, hey, it's a new day and welcome back to my channel. I'm Megan Fox and today I have a super motivating homemaking video for you. Today we're going to be making some delicious end of summer recipes. We're going to be organizing a new space in my home and doing some thrifting, some decorating, and just some general chit chat. You know how my videos are, so let's get to it. I have been making an out of this world frozen dirty ice chai latte and I just thought I had to share it with you all. I know that's a mouthful but it is such a perfect transitional drink for summer into fall. To make this I just boiled six ounces of water and then I put a Tazo classic chai tea bag in there that I've got at Target and I let it steep for three minutes and then I got my personal handheld blender out and I added one fourth of a cup of strong cold brew added the tea and then about half a cup of milk and then a generous splash of this super good quality maple syrup that one of you guys sent me from British Columbia. Thank you so much, Carrie Reagan. I was so tickled to find this in my PO box and it made this drink amazing. And then I just whipped it all up in the blender with about four or five frozen coffee cubes and poured it into this Dollar Tree glass. The Dollar Tree for the win here, isn't this so pretty? Stirred it up and added some homemade whip topping and some cinnamon. And trust me, this drink is as delicious as it looks. Seriously, make this, guys. <laughs> you will not regret it. It is like the perfect like summer into fall drink because you got like the flavors of fall with the chai but then it's still at the end of the day an iced latte so so good oh man this makes it fun to get up in the morning <laughs> anyway I got this box in the mail this week and I wanted to open it with you all it's from glasses USA I do wear glasses um, but I wear contacts as well and anyway they sent me a bunch of new fun ones and I have these are some from my last order that I got from them they're like a brown color I really like them and I like the shape but I ordered some fun new ones. Oh, wow. <laughs> I can't wait for you guys to see them. Um, let's try them on together. You guys let me know what you think. And if you're in the market for glasses, stay tuned till the end. I have a code for you guys. Um, and you can order your own glasses. I kind of went crazy here. By the way, my hair. I had a bad hair day today. And I was like, whatever. I got to get up. I got to get going. So <laughs> it just is what it is. My first pair is this really, really fun green color. from, And it's by Hilary Duff. Um, I got two of this frame in two different colors. So here it is. What do you guys think? <laughs> I thought this color would make my eyes look really good, which I think it does, but I'm not sure about my skin. Suddenly I feel a little bit paler. So that's the first pair. And then the second pair is the same thing, just with like an orange, which I thought might make my hair look good. And these actually don't have any prescription in them because I use these, these are like blue light glasses. I wear them when I'm editing. Um, and so those are really fun. And then I have another pair here that I just love that ombre look. What do you guys think? See how it's lighter on the bottom and darker on the top? I really like those. They're a little bit wider on my face though. I don't know. I really like these. I just think they might be too wide for my face. And this last pair is so fun. Guys, look, it's like this pale, like pinky color. Here, I just put a smudge on the glass. Um, there we go. Anyway, so there's the new glasses that came in and you guys can also get glasses through Glasses USA and Glasses USA is sponsoring this portion of the video, which is exciting. Because GlassesUSA.com cuts out the middleman, they can offer prescription glasses and sunglasses at up to 70% off retail prices. You can shop for affordable eyewear right from your home, which is super important to me. Glasses USA offers over 9,000 styles of sunglasses and eyeglasses. Brands like Muse and Amelia E or even designer brands like Ray-Bans and Oakley. A complete pair of eyeglasses and sunglasses start at only $30. And free basic prescription lenses are included with every single frame. You can add almost any type of prescription to almost any pair of frames, including their sunglasses. GlassesUSA.com's lenses are the same high quality you find in any glasses store. They make them in their own state-of-the-art labs. When you shop GlassesUSA.com, they give you a risk-free shopping experience because you can get a full refund within 14 days of delivery, no questions asked, and a 365-day product warranty. And even if you don't wear prescription lenses, you might want to consider their blue light glasses option. 
These lenses block up to 95% of harmful blue light and you can get them without a prescription. So if you're gonna be spending a lot of time on a screen, these are for you. Blue light glasses are ideal for protecting your eyes at home, at work, outdoors. They include glare prevention and UV block. I will link all of my glasses in the description box below. Sign up for up to 65% off your first pair. So yeah, they have tons of stylish options for really good prices and they're really like good quality. So check them out, especially the Hillary Duff line. I think these are so fun. <laughs> anyway, I gotta get my day going. I just saw the plumber roll in. <laughs> yes, we have more house projects happening. Our bathroom, some of the bathroom stuff is getting installed today. So I don't know how that's gonna play with audio. There he is. Anyway, I gotta go. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to be sipping on this chai and trying to stay out of the worker's way. I need to get the kids up really here really soon. Yeah, and we'll just have a fun homemaking day together. Last time I did a video like this, I think the kids were not here. And this will be a little bit more realistic. <laughs> a lot of the times my homemaking is with the kids here. So if you're new to my channel, I am a Mennonite mom of a three-year-old and a two-year-old and I have a baby on the way. So exciting. Um, and yeah, I live in Lancaster County. My name is Megan Fox, and I'm so glad you're here. So hit that subscribe button if you're new, and let's have fun homemaking together. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you guys make this dirty chai, it's gonna add to the experience. <laughs> so it is a little bit after nine. Um, the kids are eating their breakfast. I have laundry going, as you can hear. Actually, here, my Fitbit. So I got the Fitbit and the band off of Amazon, actually, and I love them both. Um, this is the Fitbit Charge 4. <laughs> And it's really working out. I really like it a lot. I can link it below if you're looking for something similar. I love to have my steps tracked and my heart rate. I find that fascinating. And it also tracks my sleep, which is very telling. <laughs> the kids are eating breakfast. I just gave them peaches and pancakes. Right, guys? How is it? Mm. Is it good? Okay, eat your regular pancake first. Then you can have your chocolate one. <laughs> anyway, I want to just show you quickly here all <laughs> what I'm working with. And there's going to be some, like, weird angle shots because I don't want to reveal my whole toy room to you guys. It's it's coming along. But this is all the stuff that I've collected in my house, like from the toy closet, the game closet, um, like the arts and crafts, and the school activities and everything, even some of my sewing stuff, like my sewing machine and my iron. And I'm planning on putting all of it in this unit that Josh got made for us. It's not quite finished yet. There's some trim that needs to go on down here and on the side, as you can see. But I am going to spend the time today organizing all this stuff into new bins. And here is some organization that I just found scattered around my house as well. So I have that to work with. And I got some bins here from um, Amazon and they look really big and spacious. I'm excited about them. I got six of these. I'll link them below if you're looking for something similar. And this is just decor that's gonna go in here eventually. So I need to get that out. I'm gonna clean it up. It's kind of still dusty yet from construction. And check out these knobs. Are they not the cutest? They're like rattan looking. Um, this is from Hirsch and Timber, I believe it is. I'll try to link them if I remember. Um, but the whole plan is to fill these two French doors with all the arts and crafts and games and stuff so that they're out of the way for the kids. Um, that way they have to like ask permission for them and stuff and they're not like digging through them or guests aren't digging through things and choking on little pieces and stuff like that. You know how games can be. So yeah, one of my biggest regrets actually has been, we've been in this house for two years now and I feel like this is the room we should have redone first. It's the room we use the most, honestly, the playroom. The kids are in here so much and then we'll just sit down on a sofa or something if we're gonna read a book to them or something like that. We're not real sitters, we don't relax too much in the evenings and stuff. So our living room only gets used usually when we have company over. And yeah, I just feel like we have really needed this toy room to come to life. It was a dining room at one time, so anyway. First step is getting everything organized in my built-ins, and I'm really excited about it, actually. So let's get going on that, and then I have a really exciting lunch. Um, I wanna make some fresh homemade pesto with you guys. So the first order of business was to get the kids occupied with something, so I set out some audiobooks for them, and I got to work cleaning out the cabinetry, and I just grabbed my little handheld vacuum that I keep in the car, and it worked great. The suction was perfectly fine, and it got into all the small spaces really well, and the drawers I cleaned as well. I'm so excited about these drawers. You guys, this is where I'm gonna be storing toys. They're just deep pull-out drawers, and I can keep all kinds of toys in there rather than having a toy box. Yeah, we can actually be somewhat organized with like four different categories. And 
then I just wiped everything out with some pine salt. My mom always cleaned with pine salt, and I just love the smell. It smells clean and fresh to me, and I occasionally use that in lieu of my normal blue land. And lest you think that my kids are little angels, in the time it took me to clean the cabinetry, they had gotten out this game. Guess who I think it's called? We love this game as kids. But I decided it's time to throw this thing away because all they ever do with it is pull it out and throw this stuff out and they never can really play it. And all the little windows were broken and stuff and they were missing the little flanges on them. So I just threw it right into the trash can. It felt a little bad, but I got the game for like a dollar at a garage sale and we're just not at that stage of life yet. I'll buy it again in the future when my kids are, you know, a little bit older. And then I had such a hard time moving around these shelves. They were made to move out, but instead of having pegs, they had these weird plastic apparatuses. I could not get them out. I was really, really struggling, but I eventually did. I wanted to have a nice deep section to fit my sewing machine in. And yeah, I called Josh at one point because it was just not working out. And yeah, he said basically I was doing it right. I just need to keep working at it. So finally got that done. going to see me changing my mind so many times here but my original idea was to put all of my stuff on the right and then all the kids stuff on the left the arts and crafts supplies their games and everything like that oh here you're getting a little sneak peek of my wall mural you'll see it later but yeah my printer as well I'm putting up here we do have another big office like printer that we keep in the basement for our fox sparrow stuff but this is just like my, my little printer that I pull out when I want to print out planner pages and stuff because it's really easy to work with and I can print on A5 paper and yeah it just works really nicely. And then my idea was to put all the kids games on the top shelves on the left side which did not work out because I definitely overestimated how much stuff I could fit into these shelves and the games ended up going away later you will see. So I wanted to tell you the whole saga of these shelving units. I like literally have been dreaming these up for over six months. I knew I wanted not a toy box, but like big deep drawers to put toys in. And I knew that I wanted big French doors like we had at our old house in the kitchen where my pantry was. I just love the big French doors and how much stuff you could hide behind them. I have realized that I am definitely the organizing type that likes to have things hidden. You know, it can be a mess behind the doors, but I don't have to see it. It's a place where everything can go. Um, and I'll organize it periodically, but it can be hidden behind those doors. And so I knew I wanted French doors on the top and big, deep pull-out drawers on the bottom. So my first solution was I'm going to go to Ikea and see what they have. And everything they had was, it was, okay, first of all, it wasn't the greatest quality, let's be honest. I mean, no, I'm not knocking Ikea or anything. I have a lot of stuff from there, but I knew we were going to be using this super hard. The kids were going to be pulling the drawers out. They are going to be putting their own toys away. And I just knew that we needed something super sturdy. So it was $500 to get two units like this. And they wouldn't have been exactly what I wanted. I would have had to like, it would have just been like opening doors on the bottom, not pull out drawers. And there's just a couple different things that didn't work with. And Josh is like, let's not spend $500 on something that might break right away. And so then I started looking into custom cabinetry, by the way, here my kids are, if you're wondering what they've been up to lately. They were now playing the fishing game. So yes, they were finding all kinds of stuff that I was trying to organize and put away and getting it back out. But such is the fashion with children, right? <laughs> and so I was looking into the custom route and, and that was going to be $2,000 to get floor to ceiling shelving right like this, just floor to ceiling. And so we compromised and we found an Amish guy nearby that Josh knows that has a really good source for just regular stock kitchen cabinetry. And so that's what this is. The original plan would have been to have everything go straight to the ceiling, but I saved like $1,200 by going this route and I'm really happy with it. The doors are like the soft close ones. Everything feels super sturdy and I'm just excited and actually have a system that makes our playroom able to be cleaned up. By the way, if you're wondering why I have so many arts and crafts supplies, I used to actually teach art and I've also taught some what I called sip and sketch classes at a local Mennonite school. And so I had lots of art supplies. Yeah, I just decided I need to sort them out rather than I, I should declutter them at some point. But I just keep thinking of all kinds of reasons why I'm going to need them. So I just decided to organize everything into mason jars for now. And we'll go from there. And here I am pulling back out all the kids games. They were not going to fit in here. I decided that I'd rather put the kids games over with the adult games in the living room and then leave all the arts and crafts supplies over here in the playroom. 
That way it was like kind of like like things together. And it actually works out really great then in the end. So I just took the games back over to the living room and put them in those built-ins. And the other side is actually still empty. So I still have plenty more storage. I don't intend on trying to fill it up or anything, but maybe I will put like my home decor that I had down in the basement over on the other side since then it would be more accessible when I wanna just do like a quick refresh in a space. And I definitely have a lot more decluttering to do in the future, but I just wanted to try out a system, you know, for now, and then figure out what I like and don't like about it and go from there. So I think that's a great tip for you guys to try as well. If you're not sure what you want, just try something out and then you can always adjust later. like a stage one organization I'm going to live with it for a little bit see what I think um, and just kind of like take it from here I'm not gonna put any like permanent labels on anything yet I want to see how it works out I like my stuff hidden out of sight and that makes me feel calm and peaceful even if like there's stuff in the bins isn't necessarily like 100% picturesque I don't have to see it it's like out of sight and I can still find everything quickly put everything away quickly which is definitely the key for me if I can't put something away quickly, um, it just doesn't get put away. And then there's soon a pile and then I have to, you know, spend time putting everything away. It becomes this whole project. So let me show you what I did. This is like I said, stage one. I'll probably revisit this in about a month or so once I've actually lived with it a little bit, maybe buy some more organizing containers and stuff. But I hesitate to do that right off the bat because I want to see actually what I need and like working with this cabinet. I never had a nice cabinet like this before. And so, yeah, I just wanna see what I think of it. Okay, so on the left side, I just have everything kind of at the top here in the different Amazon containers. And they, I love how big they are. They're actually very, very spacious. In this one, I have all of Ivani's school books. Um, I know it doesn't look super organized, but it actually is. It has all her like coloring books and her workbooks and stuff in there. And then this one has all the different markers, pens, Sharpies. And then down here, I have just the basic shoe boxes from Dollar Tree. This one's a little bit bigger of one I had from, I believe, Walmart with the Play-Doh in it. And this is just like random arts and crafts supplies. This one actually has like command hooks and different like hardware type things in there. There's one KiwiCo box I've been keeping. This has crayons in it. And so yeah, that's just the left side there. A lot of kid stuff and supplies I wanna keep out of their ways, you know, out of their reach, or they just like get everything out at once. And I'm hoping these leather handles like ease out over time because they kind of look <laughs> a little bit funny. They're not uniform, you know what I mean? And then the right side here is more of my things. Let me just show you really quickly. On the top, I have my printer that I just pull out. And then over here are all the special books they have to ask permission to look at because they have like audio books with them. And so I want to keep them nice because the audio themselves, like the audio tracks are really expensive. So those are like special books. I don't just want like little children ripping pages out of or anything like that. This is like art supplies. I bought these little birdhouses we're gonna do some time. And some of this stuff is gonna get set up in our little school area later, once I have time to do that. And then down here in the back, you can see my iron. And then this does not look pretty, but I wanna see if this works first. And I need to go through, and this is a whole nother project for another day, but this is all the patterns, like dress patterns and things that I've been collecting over the years. And I really have not even used most of them. I usually make my own patterns, as you can see, and then I just tuck them in little um, gallon bags. So that needs to be gone through, but not today. And then I have my sewing machine. And over here, I just have a big Rubbermaid container. I need to organize all the like organization tools I did not need or I emptied out. So I definitely have more things. You know, I will save these. These will work, come in very handy for future projects and stuff. So yeah, just wanted to show you that. Now it is lunchtime and I'm so excited. I've been wanting to make homemade basil pesto for a while because my basil plants are going crazy. They're going bananas. I have purple basil and regular basil. Um, and so I'm trying to decide, will that make pesto look really yucky? <laughs> if it's, sorry, I have a two and a three year old. I say the word yucky all the time. <laughs> I was trying to decide if it's gonna make it look not pretty if I do the um, green with the purple, like is it gonna turn kind of brownish looking? So I might make two different ones, we will see. I make my basil pesto without pine nuts. I just like to use things I have on hand. So we're just gonna do a little bit of, we're gonna do a whole lot <laughs> of basil a little bit of garlic, 
a little bit of lemon juice, extra virgin olive oil, and it's just gonna be really, really fresh and flavorful, I'm so excited. But before I get that made, I wanna roast, I've never done this before, I wanna roast some tomatoes in the oven. My tomatoes, I keep looking out the window because that's where my little garden is. My tomatoes are not giving at all. Like, it's almost the end of the summer and they're just hard green tomatoes. Yeah, I don't know what, I, maybe I should have staked them up. Maybe that's part of the problem. Um, but yeah, my garden has just not been producing very well, so I think I need to find another spot for it next year. Anyway, so it is what it is. I wanted to use up a bunch of basil and I was feeling the tomato mood, so we're gonna make some really good, fancy like pizzas, flatbreads for lunch. I think the kids will eat them. We will see. If I put mushrooms on them, they will eat about anything. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. But I thought it'd be fun to just have a little bit of a cooking adventure together and see how it turns out. Uh, I bought some fresh mozzarella. And by the way, I picked up my groceries at Target this week. I went shopping at Target. And so I was like, I only need a few things. I'll just get them at, at Target. 40 bucks for like a couple items and <laughs> it was kind of fun though because they had like very different ingredients. So that was interesting. But anyway. Oh, and if you're wondering, the kids are down in the basement playing and I'm going to listen to the first Now That We're a Family podcast but now that they're back. Anyway, let's get cooking. <laughs> You can all judge me in my pitiful garden. <laughs> this is just how they look the end of the summer. And this is all flowers that were planted by the previous owners. We are gonna dig that all out and do a patio eventually. So we're not really even worrying about it. But here's my little garden. The parsley is just taken over. The basil's doing amazing. There's my little tomatoes hanging on. Still waiting for them to ripen up. They look so good. More over there. Ah, oh, and there's my chives. Okay, let's see how the tomatoes are doing. Wow, that sounds amazing. <laughs> it sounds like they're doing something. It smells good too. I don't really know how long to do this for. I guess I'll keep going till they look a little more caramelized. Okay, and so here is what I'm gonna use to make my basil pesto. I have the basil that I just need to wash and rinse quickly. Salt and pepper, extra virgin olive oil, lemon juice, fresh lemon juice, makes all the difference, and minced garlic. I should probably use fresh garlic too, but it still tastes really good and it's so much easier. And then Parmesan cheese, which I did not find a block of Parmesan at Target, so we're just gonna use this already shredded stuff, so. Let's whip this up. This is so bright green. My goodness, how beautiful. Oh man, I wish you guys could smell it. it smells so good. I'm gonna taste it here quickly. It tastes really, really fresh, but it doesn't have like a pop to it. I definitely taste the lemon juice, but it needs more salt and pepper for sure. I actually think I'm gonna put a little bit more garlic in too. Okay, let's see. My 
three-year-old just came up and slammed the door. <laughs> I guess I was being too noisy for them with the blender. Now it's good. I definitely taste the cheese and the basil, and then there's like that lemon kick and the garlic kick. It is so flavorful. <laughs> it's actually very strong, so I bet that means it's gonna be really good on pizza, so, or on flatbreads. Anyway, I'm excited. Let me check on these tomatoes. Some of these thin ones in the front look black. No, no, no. Oh, no. Okay, maybe that was a little too long. <laughs> okay, we're good. It's just these ones on the edges got a little bit dark. I wonder if that was the tin foil, because I think I'm supposed to use parchment paper, but I don't have any, so. Okay, this is gonna be like the sauce, so let me grab the rest of my things. Okay, so for these pizzas, I first of all have the roasted tomatoes. I have fresh mozzarella that apparently already came sliced, so that looks really good. I have the fresh basil pesto. Look how bright it is, oh my goodness. And then I think I'm gonna add some banana peppers. I love them, and believe it or not, the kids love these too. And also my kids will eat any pizza as long as there's mushrooms on it, so we'll do mushrooms for the kids. For myself, I don't think I'm gonna because I kind of want to have that whole like Mediterranean taste. And then I just have these little pita non breads that I picked up at Target. I did not make them from scratch. I figured making the tomatoes and the basil from scratch was enough for one lunchtime. <laughs> in the oven I just wanted to show you guys this beautiful beautiful bouquet um, I love doing this to snapdragon do you guys do that Ivani was amazed it's snapping <laughs> look how beautiful this is um, a lady from my church she just has this hobby of making beautiful flower arrangements and she sets them at church every Sunday and then she gives them to somebody afterwards and I was the lucky duck this time. And she uses such untraditional like filler, like look at these little tomatoes and this is some rosemary. Um, so many of these flowers are just reminiscent of my wedding because I got married in July and you know, this is August here. Lizzyanthas I had, lots of zinnias and dahlias. Oh, it sounds like the kids are coming up the steps. Yeah, it's just so pretty. I think this is mint. Lappy pillow, what is that? <laughs> okay, I'm going to try this before I call the kids up. I just have to know. Guys, try this. <laughs> oh man, that is just so good. I love summertime. I just love it. Oh, it tastes so fresh. The roasted tomato, the basil. I actually looked into making homemade mozzarella. I decided against it because it needed like rennet and like a couple different like things. And I was like, eh, I'm not gonna spend the money or like have to have it shipped to me or whatever just to make some homemade mozzarella. So maybe next to summer, maybe this winter, I don't know. But anyway, I am gonna pop these back in the oven actually for just a little bit. I like when the nons are like really crispy. So, I think just a few more minutes in the oven and they'll be fine. And I'll probably put it on the second rack down so that the cheese doesn't brown. Okay, kids, who wants a pizza? No, me, 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 me. I have lots of pizza. You can each have your own little pizza. Are you excited? Listen, listen, Mom, come here. After lunch, should we decorate for Daddy's birthday? Yeah. And, and do I sing for his cake? Yeah. And put streamers on the lights?
after lunch, I sent the kids into the living room to try to go ahead and clean up their games that they have been getting out. I try to make sure they don't keep getting things out throughout the day and that at the end of the day we just have this colossal mess. So they attempted and then I had to end up coming in and helping them out getting the Jenga blocks and stuff put away. set to work on making Josh's birthday cake. I wasn't even planning on putting this in a vlog, but since it was happening today, I figured, hey, this is part of homemaking. Okay, so I have a bowl of homemade Amish icing. <laughs> yes, you can make icing on your own, but I'm sorry. If you lived in my area, you wouldn't make it either. You would buy the stuff from the Amish. No, I'm kidding. It's really good though, um, and I can make from scratch icing, but it's too much easier this way. It's such a nice shortcut. But Josh's favorite of all time is peanut butter icing on chocolate cake. So that's what we're doing. We're not even worrying about doing like a really pretty one or anything. We're just gonna make sure it tastes good because <laughs> that's what Josh cares about. So I'm just adding like a generous amount of peanut butter to the bowl and I cannot find my other, what, paddle to this or whatever. So we're just going with one. There's no kids around to lick the beater. <laughs> cake we'd be putting some pretty chocolate curls on top um, and yeah making it really pretty but this is Josh's cake and as much as it pains me uh, here I go <laughs> oh I have to do it guys it's Josh he might be turning 28 but he still has the palette <laughs> of a two-year-old oh my What do you guys think of the cake? Oh, I like the candles. The sparkly candles. What are you doing? Don't breathe on the cake. Right here, Mom? Look at stop. Right here? Sure, maybe a little longer. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of pained me to take down the pretty wall tapestry from Society6 and my pretty bouquet and put up tacky party decorations, but oh my goodness, the kids just loved it. And I do want them to look forward to birthdays and I feel like so far, our birthdays are spaced out decently well, but it's not like boom, boom, back to back. And I knew that um, they would just appreciate this and would love, I wanted them to like be involved in the process. So Ivani helped cut the streamers and Fletcher just kind of got in the way, but we tried to pretend that he was helping. <laughs> and if you'd like to watch a more detailed video on how I make balloon arches, how we do our streamers and different, I, I kind of do the same thing. It works, why not? I'm not gonna, you know, reinvent the wheel every single time. You guys can go ahead and watch the video that I put up in the cards here of my kids' birthdays and get some more inspiration.
Okay, and here's the after. <laughs> Let's be honest, this is not for Josh. This is for the kids. Definitely not my taste, but they will love it. I actually finished up after I put them down for their nap, so yeah. I try to make birthdays fun and also simple at the same time, so yeah. This is not gonna mean that much to Josh, but the kids are going to love it, so happy birthday, Josh. So we just got back from an ultrasound. I will explain in a whole different vlog. Um, it's either out already or will be coming out soon. Um, but we got done with that early, and so I got back home and I've been working on my computer. Now it's time to get the kids up and we're all gonna go out on a date. Me and Josh were gonna go on a date after the ultrasound, but it went really fast. So we're gonna go out as a family. Instead, we decided to come back. Uh, my sister was watching the kids while they were napping. And we decided to, let's go out with the kids. It'll be fun. Um, that way, yeah, my kids are gonna get babysat tomorrow, you know, so I'd like to cut down on babysitting hours if I can. So they don't even know they were babysat. It was just, they were getting babysat while they were sleeping. <laughs> anyway, so what do you guys think of these? I don't, I like them. They really make my eyes look blue, um, but they're definitely like prominent on my face, if you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, but yeah, we're gonna go out on a date tonight. Uh, Josh is getting to pick the place because his birthday is tomorrow and we're not gonna be able to go out to eat tomorrow night, so we're doing it tonight. keeping your family fed and clothed and clothed with good like prices it's hard to find clothes for a family I'm finding I only have two kids so far but like they go through clothes anyway so today I just got back from a girls day with my friends it was so fun we went to sight and sound theaters and saw the story of Esther and then we went to Agape Cafe for lunch. I got a spicy BLT sandwich that was amazing. It was on sourdough bread. It had like caramelized bacon and like a tomato jam on it. It was so good. And I got sweet potato fries, of course. And then we stopped in at Fashion Sense, which is a thrift store. And the prices weren't as good as I remembered them. Um, I did spend almost 50 bucks. Um, I'll show you exactly what I got here in just a sec. Um, but yeah, it was so much fun and I came away with a big bag of stuff and it was just great to chat and reconnect again and I feel like so much of my day is spent with little people and so it's fun to actually hang out with somebody, you know, my own age and we can, it's so funny, when moms get together, I feel like we act younger than we are <laughs> or we just feel like more carefree or like, I don't know, I'm not sure how to explain it but do you guys ever feel that way when you're with your like friends or your mom friends, you just feel younger and more carefree and I think it's good for us. Anyway, it doesn't happen very often, it was a hot, hot day today and I was feeling bad for Josh. He's out there roofing and working hard in the heat and I'm off, you know, but hey, I guess that's why I need to be happy when he goes golfing, you know. This is kind of my equivalent of that. But anyway, let me show you what I have. So I found this little Michael Kors jacket for Ivani. I just thought it would be perfect for fall into winter. It's actually pretty thick, like a parka kind of fabric. And then in the home decor section, I picked up some velvet mums. 
which in this lighting, this one looks green and that one looks purple, I'm noticing. Oh dear, I thought it was gray, yellow, and orange. I don't know, it might just be the weird lighting. And I thought this would be really fun as a little DIY makeover, um, you know, paint it with some textured paint. I love these round donut vases. And then here is some jeans I got for Fletcher. I just bought up everything he needed for this coming year, pretty much. Um, well, that's four pairs of jeans. I'll get them pretty far. Um, and then these are so cute. They're like a gray jean. And these, I think we're going to wear for family pictures. They look really bright on camera, but they're more of like a muddy terracotta color. Got some shirts. This one I wasn't in love, love with, but he needs some stuff for church this fall. Um, this one I thought would look great with the terracotta pants, even like if we do family pictures. Here's another one, and this one was just too cute to leave there. And then for myself, look at this. I picked this up, and it's like perfectly cropped. Um, it's kind of like a leopard print there, you can see, and it's like cropped, so it's perfect for like, you know, maternity, having your belly hanging out or whatever. I mean, not hanging out, but you know what I mean. Um, I'll probably tuck these in because they're kind of super long. Um, and then this I found in the maternity section, which I never buy maternity clothes, and I don't know exactly what makes this maternity. It's just like a basic sweater, but I love the waffle knit on it, and it just is so soft, and it was a good, good price. So anyway, I think I spent about 50 bucks in all, like I said. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little homemaking vlog. We got a lot done in here. Let me know what types of things that you enjoy that I can include in future homemaking videos. I know I love to include decor and uh, cooking and things like that. But let me know if there's other things. Would you like to see more sewing, more shopping? I don't know. Yeah, let me know. I'm not gonna live my life for the camera, but if I'm doing something that I know will interest you, I will pick up my camera for you guys. So just let me know what interests you. And check out Glasses USA. You can use my link down below and that could get you up to 60% off of their eyewear. So thank you guys for being here. I'll see you on the next one. Bye everyone. Bye.